Hi, Thought Office users. One of the uh, issues I wanted to drive today was um, has to do with this error socket closed message that you'll very, very occasionally find. This has to do with our internet connectivity and our servers down in Austin, Texas. When our development team is working on the program down there and they're actually doing some, some server architecture changes to either improve performance for you or to add new features, you'll sometimes get this error socket closed message, maybe once a quarter and maybe for part of a day. Our guys are pretty good down there and they try to, to uh, relegate this to weekend evenings, but every once in a while, something will have to happen during the week. So if you'll click the OK there, it'll give you this dialog box, cannot connect to the application server. Launch EXS, well that's what you want to do. Launch that and that's going to launch the program. It will give you another error socket closed message, okay? You can click OK there. And then 99% of the program will be fully operational. But let me show you where you're going to run into some challenges or where you're going to see this, uh, this uh, server program not actually functioning correctly for you. Click the Ideas button. Expand the Ideas browser, all right? And when you do that, put in a word. I'm going to put in think right now. And uh, do a word association. Okay, I'm going to take the word consider and I'm going to add it to the queue. And uh, reason, add it to the queue. And then I'm going to go to quotes. Okay. You see this works out pretty good. Add that to the queue. I'm actually going to do a return here so that our quote is separated. And uh, and then we're going to go to definitions. Well, definitions relies on the servers we have in Austin specifically. So that's not going to work for you. Hypernyms is going to be the same way. But keywords is going to work just fine. Lyrics is going to be easy. All right. See that? So we've got our lyrics going here. And we're going to go to rhyming. Okay. Rhyming words are all going to work just fine. You can scroll through there. Synonyms is not going to work because that also relies on our database in Austin. And the Google Images is going to work fine. So you'll be able to grab an image and uh, click that image and you'll see that it comes up just fine. That's very topical, isn't it? So then you can um, add that to your session and click your Topics browser. Okay, the Topics browser is the other critical element, but Topics browser uh, information is all in an internal database right on your computer. So you'll be able to go to any of the, the um, modules we have here. You'll be able to expand those modules. You'll be able to grab content from them and, um, and then add that content to, to uh, Thought Office in the session. So I hope that's helpful and helps you understand what that dialogue is when it comes up. And um, rather than um, uh, take a look at it and, and get frustrated, you can work right through it, typically for most of the stuff you need to do. And the, the errors and challenges on that are typically fixed within the hour. So I hope that's helpful. If there's any questions, don't hesitate to call Dave or myself uh, or anybody else on our team and, uh, or leave us an email. All right? Thanks so much.